You know, I always try to bring back the materials. So I really, you know, I think I use video as, uh, as a way to, to, sco to make sculptures. It's a few, I think I begin by, uh, it's a few things that are like the highlights, the things that I, uh, I am kind of gravitated towards. And some, so it could be the talent, it could be a sort of like an action or like a production and, and, or an object that I'm curious about its making uh, and a site. So maybe it's like these three things that play together. Um, and then I think maybe this is like how you make a film too. You know more or less the characters and what's going on and then, um, then you kind of glue it together. Well, for example, in the, oh, the, most, uh, the, the oldest piece in the show, in Cheese, um, actually it's based on a real story um, about these seven sisters from upstate New York that uh, in the mid-1800s uh, developed a, a product. The product was to grow hair. It was uh, like a cosmetic product for men uh, to cure baldness. Uh, and they became millionaires, and they grew up in, on a poor farm, you know, around the Industrial Revolution, um, uh, upstate New York, failing farm, and then they kind of realized that they could grow their body instead of the earth and make more money. And they became millionaires overnight from selling basically water and some alcohol um, and going and shaking their hair in drugstores around the U.S. and later Canada and England. Um, I learned about it. And at the same time, I saw a picture of this woman uh, with the long hair and the dog from Florida. And I was like, I'm going to recreate uh, their story. Production of luck, yeah, that was kind of the, yeah, which is like the casino is, or like the bingo is the factory for luck. <laughs> um, and kind of, yeah, producing, like, luck, basically fabricating luck. Uh, so I was into that. And also global warming in this way of like cause and effect, how we don't understand cause and effect. So just, you know, you have the melting glacier from one side that goes through the air conditioner that d drips on her shoulder. So it's really trying to like connect this melting glacier in one part and then this bingo parlor on the other part. And In order to produce a pearl, you have to irritate something. So this kind of idea of an irritation that produces uh, value or like a beautiful thing is a very poetic and interesting for me, especially in connection to art. Um, hopefully art could be the irritant to ideas, you know, and culture. Um, so th this idea of the irritant was really like uh, this parallel. Um, and then I've always been obsessed with allergies for some reason, <laughs> kind of this like, involuntary like sneeze or this kind of the body kind of uh, acting. Um, uh, and so th my obsession with allergy that kind of keeps repeating in the work um, and the pearl production, cultured pearl production, there's a kind of, I saw a parallel between that. So I thought that there would be these two levels of production. One is, um, I said, this more immaterial labor and kind of um, 
this allergic reaction and then on the other side there will be this other kind of, of labor um, and using kind of movie magic to connect these two locations you know maybe one is the US and the other one is in China and like a little kid you know you think you dig all the way a hole and you get to China so kind of working with that kind of idea and creating a real thread between one place and one place that it's completely fiction and the other place that's reality but actually physically like through movie magic tying them together into a structure um, so I think there's no narrative but that that's the shape of the piece A lot of the time it starts from a, co a connection to, to a person. And also in the new piece, it was kind of taking that into an extreme because I worked with a lot of people with uh, kind of uh, extraordinary talents. Um, <laughs> it's funny, it's like from like theater, you know, the talents. <laughs> uh, oh, it's like a love relationship, you know, it's cool. It's like always, it's a lot of trust and there's always a, co a collect, um, a connection with the, they're like my muses or something. I think they're very normal, but they're an extreme. So I think it's more for me just to kind of talk about like personhood and body and this kind of, she, like how do you inhabit your body? Is these questions of ownership, is your body you or is it your possession? Uh, it's like a means of production, you know, so this relationship. I love that glass ceiling, you know, in the, the Kunsthaus, and I thought, oh, it would be really nice to like just break it, you know. <laughs> then you go to the floor above, and then there's cosmic generator, and you have someone there breaking it, but from above. So I, on the third floor, it's the view from below of what's on the top floor. It starts from um, this border town in um, Calexico and Mexicali. Um, it's a kind of town that's divided by the wall. And um, I, there's a lot of uh, myths and also real stories uh, about the underground tunnel that go around the, the between under the border. Um, and and there's also the biggest Chinese population in Mexico, right on that border. And it's famous for having really good Chinese food. So I was really fascinated by, by this kind of like global connection. And for me, the piece starts in a 99 cent store on the American side of going into a tunnel uh, to the other side of the globe and to, in this uh, market in Yu, China, that basically supplies you know, um, small commodities to around the globe, and uh, it's, a, it's a million square feet. So it goes into there and then back into a Chinese restaurant on the Mexican side. It's kind of playing with this idea of collapse of distance and geography at the same time, this uh, overstating borders.
who am I? I am not an economist and I'm not, I don't, I just, of course it is, I'm fascinated by it, but really from not, a, from an artist point of view. I'm very interested in facts, but I, I translate them into like a subjective thing. So it's not so much, it's not research, maybe it's inspiration or something like that. I don't know. I, I definitely think a lot about the visitor, um, but I don't know if I want, so I want to draw them in, you know, uh, um, and I think I want to take the viewer places. <laughs> it sounds very basic, but I think it's um, into this whole, you know, I mean, I, I want to think about going into a rabbit hole in the floor and arriving to these other places and all that. So I think about, um, it's always cool if you take someone with you. <laughs>